Good morning to you. Um, morning. What are these videos about and who are they aimed at? So the educational videos I, I make are aimed at 13 to 16 year olds, kids doing GCSE science. Um, and then to take the topic and make it as simple and easy to understand as possible. OK, well, shall we be the judge of that and have a little look? <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look. Here's how electricity works. Let's start with a circuit first. The electrons flow from the power source, then do the wire they serve. YouTube, what considerations have you taken on board when putting your videos out there? And what kind of um, assurances have you sought to make sure children are safe watching your videos? So whenever I make anything, I always check about four sources. So I've got my main textbooks that I've used from the years that I've taught. But even then, still when I'm putting any bit of information together, I check with about three or four other places to be absolutely certain it's correct. Um, because, you know, I don't want to put out anything that has any possibility of being wrong. Students are going to absorb this information and then they need it for life as well as their exams. So that's, that's the process I take. <laughs> Matt, you know, we looked at your video there and it is such a different way of presenting that information. You can see why they are so popular. Um, you talked you. about what fact checking you do, but how do you make sure you stand out amid all of this disinformation? How do you flag that your video is the one that is going to tell you the truth? So I always label it. So I label mine with exactly what I'm going to do before I start. So I think that video you just played a moment ago, it was GCSE physics, that's the qualification, and the topic itself is electricity. So I clearly label it. Um, and that, that's, that's a way to signal to students of what it is. Um, and then, of course, I just try to make the explanations as clear as possible. But with a lot of the things that you're saying, I know it's difficult when you're, you're a nine or 10 year old kid, you just trust what you see at face value. But one thing I always done in my class was I always taught kids and always mentioned to kids, you've got to always verify yourself so you see the textbooks, you hear something. It's always worth having a little look at other sources online and just making that a sort of ordinary habit because it's easy. I, even me now as an adult, I, I look at something, I listen to something, I assume it's fact, but I've just got to quickly check, see if it's on multiple sources. And then you, know, you get that validation, verification that it's not just some nonsense like this AI stuff. Matt Green, the rapping science teacher. We've learnt loads. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Why were my science lessons never, never like that? that? <laughs>